everyone, and welcome back to Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen, for another fragrance review. Today, we're going to be reviewing an Italian classic, an Italian barbershop classic, if you want to call it that. Um, it's a fragrance from, you know, it's a very classic. I think it's from 1949. It's from the Italian house of Visconti di Madrone. It is Aqua di Selva. Aqua di Selva by Visconti di Madrone, formerly the House of Victor, and then I believe it changed hands, is an, an, a classic Italian house. It's a classic Italian fragrance. It's one that I grew up with. It was in my home as a kid. It was a fragrance for my grandfather and my father, and I wear it now often, along with several other of the males in my family, cousins, and so forth, too. So what we'll do, as we always do in all of my individual reviews, is break down the fragrance into five parts, starting with the box and bottle presentation. Then I'm going to talk about the fragrance's notes, pick up on the ones that I notice the most, its performance based on my experience wearing it, give it my overall thoughts, and then of course my overall rating. Before we jump into the video, if it's your first time here and you enjoy this type of classic men's fragrance content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We're growing, and each subscription I appreciate greatly. Thank you so much. If you have an Instagram, go ahead and check out the Sense of South Jersey Instagram page for news and updates on the channel, photos of fragrances from my collection, and of course save a daily scent of the day posts of the stuff that I wear throughout the week. Um, on a different note, non-fragrance related, if you have a TikTok and you just want to watch some fun partying videos, follow Sabro88 for all of your champagne savoring needs. So let's take a look at Aqua de Selva. Okay, let's start things off with a presentation. I got a few different things to show you guys. We'll start off with the box. So um, this is the 100 ml spray bottle box. Aqua de Selva, you can see the Visconti di Madrone logo there in a pattern all over the box. Aqua de Selva there, red uh, e and C for eau de cologne. It is an eau de cologne concentration. On the top there, you can see the seal, that sort of V and dragon or snake. And on the bottom, you've got some brand information and a barcode. And there is a batch code somewhere, but that's not really important. The box opens up like this. It does have a French wrapper inside. This is the bottle that I have and the bottle that I prefer. There is another one that has a cap with a silver sprayer. That is the most recent formulation. This is the one in between the original Victor version and the newer one. Um, but I just like the bottle. Built-in sprayer. You can see great distribution. Spits out a lot of fragrance. Same type of look here. Green glass. Eau de Cologne says that Aqua de Selva, the coat of arms for Visconti, Visconti di Madrone there, size and concentration. And then on the bottom, you've got some more brand information. This is made in Italy, um, and it's by the uh, Calametta Torino. That's where it's made, I guess. So the other version, which I showed in the beginning, is this massive splash bottle. So this one is awesome. You want to get this. The splash bottle, I think, is, is an awesome uh, bottle. Just nice to have. Look at it. Really nice green, really barbershop looking, that, that, you know, that clear green glass with a nice decant stopper there. Same type of thing, just the splash. The box is the exact same thing, just much larger. Again, with that seal there and the pattern everywhere and the uh, logo on the top here too. So pretty cool uh, presentation for Aqua de Selva. Okay, so the notes for Aqua de Selva. In the top, you have lemon, basil, bergamot, rosemary, and lavender. And then in the middle or the heart of the fragrance, you have pine tree, thyme, clary sage, geranium, and cloves. And then in the base, there's peat, vetiver, cedar, and musk. The notes that I pick up on the most are definitely the citrus and green notes in the opening, that lemon, the basil, and the bergamot, and the rosemary. Those two you definitely get a huge burst of, and then followed by the pine, and then I get the vetiver and the cedar. Um, surprisingly, no oak moss in this fragrance. I thought that was um, interesting when I looked again, um, because this is one I reviewed, again, a long time ago on the old style videos in the beginning of my channel, so I definitely wanted to revisit this. So those are the notes that I pick up on the most, but there are obviously all of them in the fragrance to come up with the fragrance as a whole. Okay, performance for Aqua de Selva. Not that great, I would say between three and four hours. Again, you gotta apply heavy, which is part of the reason why I bought this massive splash bottle, because you're gonna wanna reapply and reapply. It's on the fresher side, it's green, but it's a fresher fragrance, and it's an eau de cologne concentration. It's not meant to last um, you know, eight to 12 hours. It's just not gonna happen with this. So three to four is what I get with Aqua de Selva. All right, so my overall thoughts on Aqua de Selva. Um, it, this is just a, a fantastic fragrance. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's very nostalgic for me. It was always in my home growing up, right? So my father wore it all my life, and he still wears it to this day. Now, he had other fragrances. I remember seeing other ones in his bathroom, like uh, Dolce Gabbana Pour Homme, Armani Pour Homme. He even had uh, Terre d'Hermes, I think, at one point much later on. But Aqua de Selva was always 
always, always there. So I have a you know true appreciation for this fragrance and I absolutely love it. I gift it to my nephews and my cousins and they enjoy it, you know, since they're younger. If I start them on the classics, that's all they'll wear because to them that'll smell the best, you know? So I've always loved this stuff. I've always loved the opening. I think the opening is the most recognizable and distinguished part of this fragrance. It's just that, that citrus, green pine, earthy burst, and then the vetiver and a little bit of the, you know, musk comes in at the end. Um, think about it like you're in the Italian Alps and you're getting bursts of fresh air. That's what it is, uh, mixed in with that pine tree scent. Um, it's not piney like Pinot Silvestre is, where that's like an herb, very herb, very herbal, very like, uh, you know, uh, what's it, spice cabinet like. Aqua de Selva, I think, is better, um, and it's definitely one that gives you that cool burst of, of, the, of the citrus and the green and then the pine. It's just an excellent classic fragrance. To me, it's classy, right? Even though it's a cheap fragrance, it, it comes off as uh, very gentlemanly-like and you know just has a real Italian vibe to it. It's sharp, but at the same time, it, it's just an amazing scent that I really enjoy wearing. I think you could wear it any time of year. The performance isn't so strong that it's not going to overwhelm anybody in the heat. It's a great, and it, and it definitely will cool you down. Um, you know, for performance-wise, you know, they have an aftershave that you can get as well, too. Um, there's balms that you can get. I actually have a balm by the Victor company, but it's for another fragrance. But it smells similar enough that I can kind of mix it in with this where it's not going to change the scent at all. This is from uh, Victor Original but it does smell enough of the citrus where you can use it just as an aftershave balm to help with the performance. But performance aside, it's a fantastic fragrance. It can be a great daily scent, signature scent. You could wear it out, you could wear it to work. Definitely won't be overwhelming or overbearing because it's not super strong. It'll become a skin scent after the three, four hour mark. And then of course you can always reapply. But if you're a fan of that Italian barbershop, you like citrus and, and green notes, herbal notes, then pine. Pine is a very strong note in this fragrance. It smells so fresh to me. And um, you know, then when it dries down, that, that cedar wood in there really comes through. And those are the notes that I pick up on, the cedar and the vetiver. It just the whole combination is a classic, just green, fresh scent. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't last that long, but again, you have to look past that. But it's definitely one you can wear all year round and you should definitely pick up because it's very, very inexpensive. Okay, so it's time for my overall rating for Aqua de Selva by Visconti di Madrone. So taking a look at the presentation again, I absolutely love it. I love the bottle, it's iconic. Yes, I'm biased because I grew up with this in my home. So just looking at it, it'll make me happy. But I love the splash bottle. I love the green look, the built-in sprayer, just the, the, you know, the awesome huge bottle. I like the boxes, they look really nice. It would get a perfect score for me. However, the newest formulation with that sprayer sort of leaks, so I'm gonna have to ding at one point. Despite that not being in here, it still counts as a part of Aqua de Selva's presentation. So nine out of 10. The performance, four out of 10. It's not great. You're not gonna get more than four hours if you just use applying it one, one time in the middle beginning of the day. And by the time it reaches that three, four hour mark, it's over. So I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt with a four out of 10. As far as the scent go, absolutely love it. It's a fantastic fragrance. Again, I'm biased, but I love it. This was before Pinot Silvestre, the original pine cone. It was before Agua Brava, another great fragrance. That's by uh, Pouge, but that one um, is similar. However, this is my favorite. So nine out of 10 for the scent, which is gonna bring the overall rating when I combine all three to a seven and a half out of 10 for Aqua de Selva. All right, everyone, that's going to end my review of Aqua de Selva by Visconti di Madrone. So as usual, I would love to hear from all of you in the comment section. Do you own this fragrance? Do you enjoy it? Are there parts of it that you dislike? Are there other fragrances like the ones that I mentioned, Agua Brava or Pinot Silvestre, the original, um, that you prefer more than this one? Or do you agree with me? Do you think this is the better of those three? Do you like the classic Italian green barbershop style? Um, I always love to hear from you guys in the comment section. I always appreciate all the interaction. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already check out the Instagram page and the TikTok page. Again, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.